Kadesh Kale guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2, and in today's video we're back boys, Tuesday reset is upon us, this Tuesday reset is a bit special though that we got a new update, obviously cleaning up a lot of bugs in the game, also rip the 12 man raid, 12 man raids and 12 man activities are gone now, obviously they didn't want it for Grandmaster Nightfalls, but there is another couple of changes you'll see on the screen, one of the biggest changes, not maybe for PC as much, but for you console players, one of the biggest changes I think that has come in any of the patches for console is that the Arbalist got a nerf. Yes, you heard it here, folks. Arbalist got nerfed. Crucible on console. Oh my god, it was a menace. It honestly it made me fear PvP in, uh, on, P on console. It was just nuts how good this thing was. But as I said, you'll see on the screen, Bungie did say that they are reducing Arbalist aim assist, making it harder to hit headshots in Crucible. Now, it's interesting they say Crucible, so PvE. It might still be good. I mean, PvE is probably where it's built for, but PvP, the reason this freaking thing was such an, an absolute menace, this, like, this Arbalist was a pain in the ass, a pitta, if you will. It was an absolute pitta because the Arbalist used to just one shot. It was a charge time that was relatively quick. It's even its perks. It didn't really do much. Obviously, made them weak for kinetic which obviously you're using this as your kinetic but the fact was that this was a one shot charge with a red dot sight that is in the kinetic slot and takes special ammo so it was like basically having a really really strong linear fusion rifle that you could constantly run around with and on console because everything's sort of slow and the aim assist was so high on this thing it was like we were back at the queen breakers at least queen breakers was heavy but this was special, and it was just deleting people. Now, Arbalist has said, it got nerfed. Not as big a deal PC, but it will be a big deal on console. That's where we're on PS5 right now. So, yeah, we're going to go into PvP and see how big this nerf is. Honestly, it's either going to be one of the two things. Bungie have probably just not even tried to balance this at all and just completely put it into the ground. Or it's going to be still as good as it was. That's the only way Bungie nerfs things in this game. But we're here to see what it's going to be like. The Arbalist has said it has got technically a nerf, so we're going to try it out. So, without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Arbalist. Alrighty, so we are gonna be on Widow's Court with the Arbalist. This is probably gonna be like the best map for it. As I said, when I, d I did a review on this ages ago for a console though, because this was an absolute machine. If you play Trials on console, you would know. This was just dominant. This is what used to kill everybody. But now, okay, there's a guy. Okay, this guy is super close. I have no idea. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh my. Oh my God. I only got one. Wait, I only had one bullet. What? I spawned in with one bullet. Uh, are you serious, Gabe? I have no idea. We need a dip. I'm getting so screwed over right now. We'll try headshot a guy up here. Oh, and oh my god, the flinch. But there's the headshot. So, obviously, if you are accurate, this is still going to be good. But it was back in... If you watched my old video, you could... There was times where this thing, you could literally just shoot a guy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he was one shot. Okay, that was a decent body. But there was times where you literally wouldn't even aim with their head. And they would just get freaking deleted. I mean, it was quite insane. Now it actually takes a bit of aim. So you'll see, that could have been a headshot back in the day. That would have been a headshot back in the day as well. You can see it actually does take a little bit of aim right now. Now, But yeah, I will definitely say there is a noticeable difference to the aim assist. I don't know what, how, like, obviously how much they decreased it by. I don't even think they really had stats for it. I'm still, but you'll see. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we just got flinched the kingdom come. You can see in that situation, though, once you do start getting flinched, there's none of this, like, just getting absolutely tapped in the head. That was the biggest problem with this weapon, was that this guy is lagging like hell. Can you just die? Thank you. But the biggest problem with the weapon was that you would be literally fighting someone, and you just get flinched, and all of a sudden you die because the Arbalist would just dome you straight away. This actually seems like the flinch. It really does make a big difference, which I don't know... If <laughs> I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, because it might make people just never want to use this weapon at all in PvP. Do go for B flag though, and there's the headshot, and then we'll get this guy as well. I mean, when you're not close and you're not accurate, there's the double kill. It's still actually good. I, this might be one of the times where I go to Bungie, like, oh my god, they actually nerfed the weapon, but didn't make it unusable. This is actually still going to be good in the right hands. Obviously, as I said, the one thing that they have changed like, completely that I do notice a big difference in is that... When you do get flinched now, it's not like you're just absolutely... Or you just get, like, some randy headshot or anything like that. But you do... But, like, you can see, that would have been a headshot back in the day. I'm telling you, these... That, that's how bad the aim assist was in this. Or, like, how good. But the aim assist was bad in terms of it was just insane to play against. Oh, we need to kill this guy. Oh, buddy, we shut him down. Screw you, bro. Oh, Glacial Quake going in. Don't mind if I just go like this and try to shred your little booty off. Oh, that's sword. Oh, no, bro. Bro, come on. Don't, don't even scare me like that. And I actually got killed by a trusty backwards. <laughs> Man, I forgot how hard this super is to use on console. The only thing the Arbalist really had... Oh my god, I completely missed. And oh my god, this freaking guy. Come on, die. Don't worry, we got him, boys. We got him. And he's lagging like hell, but we got the kill. But yeah, I will say that the uh, weapon it, it isn't bad right now, but... 
There is a lot of charge time. The only reason people were realistically just trying to stomp out with it was literally just because the aim assist was nuts. But even that sort of shot. I, yeah, there is some aim assist, but it's honestly, it is a lot more bearable, boys, to play against. I said, this used to literally... Oh my god, how is this guy not dead? But this literally used to scare me in PvP whenever I had to do console reviews. I used to just get shredded by this. It was so freaking annoying. But the fact that it's actually not bad right now... Oh, no, bro, 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 bro. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. And there's a dude over here, and there's the body shot. Okay, there's the double body. So, it will still be decent as well for doing stuff like that. Just double bodying and everything, but there's a guy chasing me. Hey, buddy, you want to come at me with whatever you just had there? I think you had a fusion rifle. But it's still actually going to be decent for the old, uh, like, double body shots and everything. It's just going to be easier to use for a lot of people. But we'll try to get this guy. Who's Oh, my God. He's going to shiver strike. And I cannot kill this guy. Ah! Oh, we got him! Screw the shiver strike! Oh, that's too super shut down. That is where the Arbalist is going to be freaking clutch, though. In that sort of situation, it's going to be nice if you do hit a dome again. There we go. We're starting to shred a little bit. As I said, this weapon, it, it's the good nerf is that it just requires a skilled hand. If you do get flinched, I will say, you're kind of screwed. But as I said, that's probably okay. And that guy's 1 HP, and that's a slightly shotgunner. But I think that's a good balance, is that you kind of actually have to be able to aim. I do not, like, aim assist, obviously, on console is sort of needed compared to PC, but, man, it's honestly super nice. I will still say, though, the weapon itself, I don't think it's going to replace, like, snipers and stuff. Like, obviously, doing that sort of stuff is really nice, but the consistency of just being able to one-tap. Oh, there's the headshot. Screw you, buddy, and that guy's down there. But, yeah, the consistency of just being able to one-tap with it. I know the red dot side is a big plus for people, and obviously, people are going to love that, and that you can obviously kill supers and everything. No, really, was the heavy worth it that much? Was heavy worth it that much for... And he dies anyway. What? But yeah, unless people really love the red dot sight in terms of being able to just quickly get a kill, like real up close and everything. I don't think it's going to replace a, like sniper stuff for a lot of people. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's just flinch in general. It's just super hardcore in this sort of weapon. But it used to be as well that you can kind of go up close like that and I'm so dead. But honestly, the old school arbalist, it used to be so dumb the headshots you could hit with it. It was just... Any fight you got into, if you were anywhere near their head, it just domed them. But this one actually takes a bit of freaking aim, and I don't have it. I will say, though, honestly, the nerf is really, really sweet for a PV or console, I will say. Oh, uh, that is the game, though. But I will say, honestly, Arbalist on console, this has actually impressed me the way they, they dealt with it. Usually, as I said, Bungie, usually it's either freaking ban hammer straight away otherwise they just don't change it at all but now it actually feels like i've got to be on their head i know what i'm going to get a kill with it basically 25 bonus speed at 2.27 Alrighty, so we're going to do another game on console with obviously our list and everything as i said console is where this is obviously going to be a big deal it will actually still affect the pc but as i said arbalist isn't used that often pc uh, but uh Ar I, you can see Ar i've already played a game I did not hear one dude running around with the Arbalist, which is honestly complete a complete shock. It was just, it, honestly, as I said, it was pretty freaking nuts. Now, I, I can, oh, you killed him, bro. Come on, I need to go get some kills. Let me get some kills. There's going to be a dude here, though. And, oh, okay, we body shot him. Okay, that was going to, I was going to say, if I hit that dome, that was not on his head. But as I said, they have actually changed this stat. I do kind of understand where I'm going to, like, hit someone. Now, someone just hit me with a freaking Arbalist, I think, there. But for the most part, you can see I completely whiffed on him. But I know when I'm going to miss. That's what, that's what I'm getting at. When I miss, I know I'm going to miss just because it's balanced now. The aim assist was that insane that you could be miles off his head, but still get the kill. Yeah, this guy is shoddy though. Shoddy, 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 shoddy. Bro, 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 bro. Thank you for the kill. Give me the Arab list ammo. And we're going to swing in three. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, let's try to get sniper on. What are these dudes? No, bro. No. What the hell? Stupid guy and his flinchy Mac flinch. Oh, we'll try to get this guy. I will body him. I will say, though, if you're going to use this, it's actually good for body shotting. Okay, Jay, kill uh, T-Baggy because you're using the shotgun. I'm using a nerfed Arbalist, bro. What do you want me to do? But yeah, honestly, based off just how quick it can body shot and stuff to get them weak. It's honestly not bad. Now, give me that ammo. Give me the ammo. Oop, up, 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 up. Oh, we'll try to get this guy who's weak as hell. But there's the body shot. said, this is honestly a dope-ass weapon to hit body shots with. Now, no, there's going to be a guy here. Ah! Oh! No! Bro! Bro! Oh! No! Heal, bro! Heal! <laughs> I just got double-fisted! Oh, man. My, oh, my God. I'm against, like, six fucking... Six behemoths. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm getting super aggressive with this as well. Oh, my God. Okay, this guy's 1 HP. Thank you for the kill. Oh, my God. There's two people again. Oh, my... We're so... 
<laughs> oh, card scenes for the win, boys. Card scenes for the win. That's how you use them, guys. That's why I use them. But yeah, I honestly do love this change to the Arbalest. I think it was a real healthy change. You can see that if you don't hit your shot, it's not that great. Now, obviously, I'm wasting so much ammo because I'm trying to just pepper a guy. But you can't, if you do, like, I knew I was going to hit that headshot. That's what I'm saying. The headshotting in this, I just know exactly where my bullet is going to go. Now, that guy is 1 HP. And I didn't realize you could hide like that. I was meant to melee. But I honestly do think this change, it literally just means that the bullet goes exactly where you're aiming. Which is kind of where it's always meant to go, you know? But you, this game just had some insane aim assist on it. It was probably just because they did buff uh, linear fusion rifles to have a better aim and everything like that. And there is multiple... Oh my... Oh my god, guys, 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 come on. Uh, oh, there's the headshot though. But that's what I mean. I knew it was a headshot before I even hit the shot. But yeah, the change has actually made a big deal. And as I said, the main... As, that was one of the other problems was that sometimes... Okay, I got to hit him somehow. But sometimes you get that random time where you're just getting flinched like hell and you would hit the dome. I think that's gone though. But like I knew that was going to be a headshot. I mean, it's still effective. Don't get me wrong. It is not as broken as it was, but it's still decent. It's still not going to be broken or anything, but you'll see. I knew that was a body shot. Oh, no. He's one shot, boys. He's one shot in there. Someone finish up. No. Where's my freaking wall bangs? Ah, get him. Get him. Oh, I'm one HP. Leave. Leave. And I'm dead from a freaking behemoth. Oh, this is going to be horrible fighting these things. Oh, especially this map. As soon as behemoths start going in, you're you good luck to vision. Oh, we'll try to get this guy, though. Ah. Ah, and I'm freaking dead. Oh, my God. Leave me alone, please. Honestly, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how Bungie handled it. Because I said, usually when Bungie do this sort of thing, they just nerf the absolute hell out of the weapon. But they've actually done a decent... Oh, my God. Can this guy... This guy's going to dodge me. This guy's going to dodge... No, bro. Ah, no. Freaking freeze in my ass, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> Arbalus, I know I keep harping on, but it's literally just because I'm so surprised Bungie actually did a nerf that doesn't completely trash the weapon it doesn't make it like broken either it's actually a good balance change like i knew i was gonna hit that but i've got to be accurate like i mean the aim assist there i'm actually having to control that that's not just like obviously sticking to his head i am somewhat controlling that obviously with my analogs and stuff like that now you'll see for the most part just doing that if the aim assist is good enough to get bodies and everything but it's nothing like it used to be as i said it's not like i'm just destroying domes or anything I will try. Okay, that guy. How is this guy not getting hit? Oh my god, I'm so dead. But yeah, I am honestly loving this change and everything. I think it's a really nice one. I didn't hit that guy. Oh my god, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, good lord. But I am really loving this, honestly. I think it's a dope change. And we'll body shot him. And that guy's lagging. Oh, but there's 745 damage because I hit him in the body. All right, we got a super though. And they've all used their supers. Oh, come on. We get one. Oh my god, they're both still alive. How are they both still alive? What the hell, game? Okay, we'll get this guy now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How is this guy still just running around my freaking spawn? Thank god he died. Oh, he's got a shotgun in, boys. He's got a shotgun in. Wait, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, Sergio. No, Sergio. Oh, got one of them. And I don't know if that's an enemy or mine, but we're running through it, boys. We're running through it. Oh, we got him. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. There's the body shot. Oh, the guy at the back. Oh my god, the flinch. Sergio, stop fisting me, please. I honestly think the change is super nice. It is not as oppressive. I know exactly when I'm going to hit headshot, when I'm not. Like, I mean, literally back in the day, it used to just be like, I could not pull away from their head. That's how freaking oppressive it was. Ah, oh, no. And that would have been a kill as well. I mean, back in the day, that's a kill because it's just... Aim this was that cool, but right now, it is actually balanced. I never thought I'd say that about a bungee freaking nerf or whatever, but I honestly feel like console, it feels healthy now. It doesn't feel as oppressive. It feels nice. Said so console, you still get people using... Oh, we don't him, but you'll still get people using it in trials that were good with it, but you won't get every freaking Tom, Dick, and Harry being an absolute god of PvP because they had it. We've lost the crutch. We have lost the crutch, boys. Now all we need to get rid of is Felwithers, and all the crutches will be gone. 27 opponents to be at 1.8, but that is it from me and the Arbalist. I can honestly tell you guys that this is one of the most healthiest nerfs i've ever seen from bungie as i said bungie they either always either trash a weapon make it absolutely terrible or else they just don't change it at all it's like proceed as freaking normal but this one actually is a really nice change i think it makes a weapon actually really healthy pvp console anyway as i said pc can affect it a bit but it was never really a thing on pc because most people are going to use snipers no charge time and everything you just insta dome but as i said for the most part console 
it's safe to go into console and P uh, PvP now. I think it's safe to go out of the cave. Well, it still has stasis, so maybe not so safe, but it's safe from the Arbalest at least. Now, all we need is the freaking stasis to get nerfed, and we're gonna have a healthy PvP environment. Who knew? But regardless, if you like the video, just like, and you want to see more content, subscribe for a fantastic day, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.